Jelly Bean. It's in the house. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. Let's take a look. Well, hello there, Android 4.1. This is Android 4.1, also known as Jelly Bean, running on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus that was seated yesterday at Google I.O. in San Francisco. Now, Jelly Bean's an evolutionary update from Ice Cream Sandwich. It's the latest iteration in Google's sweet flavored snacks lineup or dessert snacks. I call them snacks because that makes me feel a little bit better about eating them than desserts. But hey, you know what? That's just me. Android 4.1, not rolling out to stop the Galaxy Nexuses on the market right now. The ones that were Google I.O. got it last night are in the process of getting it now via OTA, but it's rolling out to everybody else, mainstream consumers, in mid-July. You can find leaked ROMs, at least they're starting to pop up on the internet, but for mainstream consumers, mid-July is going to be your official download date. Now, like I said, this is an evolutionary update. It's not Android 5.0. They build it as Android 4.1, and they build it that way for a reason, because you can look and see that overall, it's about the same, at least in terms of look and feel. They've made some minor improvements, and I'll be the first to tell you, these minor improvements are huge for this platform, because one thing I've criticized Android for in the past is it's laggy. I mean, even Ice Cream Sandwich on a device of the Galaxy Nexus, I mean, you can see lag from time to time. When you're scrolling through, take a look right there. You can see lag from time to time. This is the Verizon Galaxy Nexus running Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0.4. But you can see they've improved that thanks to Project Butter. It's something they talked about at Google I.O. yesterday. It's an intended to maximize the CPU, use it as much as it can, and really make this device a speedy device. And I'll tell you, after hours of playing with this and working with it, I'm really impressed at the speed, but you'll see some differences across the board, and we want to highlight those in the video. First of all, the notifications bar, you'll notice, is a little bit different. The clock is different. I'm going to bring this one in periodically just for comparison reasons, and you can see the differences in Android 4.0 versus Android 4.1. That's the way it looks, a little bit different. You're wondering what the scattered clouds is. We'll get to that in just a second, but a little bit of a difference there, and of course, the lock screen has changed as well, and you'll see that it makes a little animation there spinning out from the lock screen, and from here, I can Google search, I can go to camera, or I can unlock, but I really want you to focus, especially if you're somebody that's worked with Android 4.0 or had a stock build of it, really take a look at how fast it is in comparison to uh, you know, even stock ice cream sandwich or perhaps something running, you know, one of the later builds of Android. Incredibly fast. You got your widgets over here, and you can see a little bit of a difference in the look and feel here, and you've got some new ones like messaging, you got your uh, play my library, you have Google magazines in this, which is something they announced yesterday. We'll go through this step by step. Google Currents pre-installed. You have, of course, the same Google Plus integration, but Play Magazine. So you have books, magazines, movies, and TV, and then you have your music as well. So a couple of announcements from yesterday. Movies and TV, you can now buy movies, and then you can also go into Play Magazines, and we'll just take a look here so you can see, and we'll go into Google Play and take a look at these. You can buy magazines, read them on your device, and the real benefit is between this and the Nexus 7 tablet, which is also running Jelly Bean, you can, let's say I download Men's Health or I download GQ, I'm on page 12, I can pick up and read where I left off on my tablet as well. That's a, a really nice feature. So I come in here to the 99 cent sale and take a look and we'll look at Men's Health, for example, and you can see I can subscribe to it, I can buy, and then I can take a look at the description, similar magazines, and then back issues and go from there. But again, just, I mean, take a look at the speed. That's really what I want to focus on because that's something Android historically has had an issue with. And I can go into these, look how quickly it loads up. That's what I'm most impressed with about this new build. Also take a look at the transition effects. Watch when I open the phone. You're going to see how it kind of comes up out of the corner, if you notice that, as opposed to uh, older versions of Android. And you can see how quickly it loads up in comparison to an older build. Take a look at this. It just takes its sweet time. So the transition effects are nice on Jelly Bean. Now the real highlight here, the real meat of it, the new Google search functionality. So we're gonna use Google Now, which is enabled right now, and that's what you're seeing in here because I've searched for weather in San Francisco before, and it's remembering that. So it's got the card here, and they show up here. This is really cool, and it's kind of a Siri-like thing with the cards, and of course I can come in here and alter this, it looks like, thanks to this menu button. Yeah, I can go ahead and change the settings. I can improve my location, but I can say stuff like, you know, if I had a flight, which I do actually do have a flight today. I have to travel for a meeting in Los Angeles. Um, and I cannot remember my flight number, but if I remembered it, I would tell you. Uh, let's see. Let's do something like, what's the weather like this weekend in San Francisco? The forecast for San Francisco this weekend is 70 degrees with fog. And it's incredibly impressive. And if you ever see a card, so it brings up these cards much like Siri. If you ever want to go back to your typical search results, all you have to do is swipe away and then it brings up the Google search results. As Google said yesterday, they always want you to have access to the most stock uh, search results. So let's say, what else? Um, what's a good Japanese restaurant nearby? It's like 9.30 in the morning. I don't know why I'm looking up Japanese restaurants. But you can see 
it brings up the Japanese restaurant. So really impressive, and again, it's gonna remember this stuff. That's what's pretty cool about it when it's turned on. So if I had a flight, for example, and I put in like United 45, whatever the flight number is, it'll remember that and it'll text me updates as I go, if it's late, if it's delayed, if anything's happening with the plane, thanks to Google Now. It's a huge improvement. Of course, you've got a different looking search bar here as well. Keyboard relatively the same across the board here. Another change, Google Currents, which I'll show you this uh, as well. I can come in here and say Forbes, for example, and I can take a look at an article just showing you this one, for example, and I can scroll through and take a read there in Forbes. And so again, you know, it's all about, I think Android is finally realizing that half the battle, and I tweeted this yesterday, half the battle is fluidity and nice looking fonts. And I think finally, they got the nice looking fonts thing down with Ice Cream Sandwich, finally they're getting the fluidity thing down, thanks to product, uh, Project Butter, rather. Now, I haven't had time to test the battery life, I don't know if it's an improvement, over the other Galaxy Nexus devices, or other, you know, over other Android devices in general. That's something we'll certainly look at uh, soon, but you can see again, let's take a look at settings here. Accounts, you can see that's a minor change as well where I've got my Google accounts listed right there. So all in all, you know, a nice update, but I'm just really impressed with the speed. I mean, that's the biggest thing here. I mean, everything is incredibly fast. Camera's really cool as well, and this is kind of a page at a Windows phone playbook because I can easily swipe back and forth over to my picture. So I take a picture, and you'll see, Bam, and so it automatically quickly takes it and moves it back into the gallery, and from there I can swipe back and forth. One of my favorite features about Windows Phone, and it's finally here. Otherwise, you got your same camera settings, same kind of look and feel, but that's a really nice touch added to the camera uh, on stock Jelly Bean. Much more coverage to come on Jelly Bean on PhoneDog.com. We'll dive into specific features. Dog fights from now on will be most likely with Jelly Bean, so we'll have a Jelly Bean battle versus some of the other hot smartphones on the market, like the One X and the Galaxy S3. Which one will win? We'll have to find out. you have to stay tuned for that. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know if you have specific questions about Jelly Bean. Tell me about Phone Dog. Or tell me about iPhone Doc. That works as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. More coverage to come, so stay tuned and keep it locked on phone dog.com. We'll see you next time.